uh, we know that uh, we are now in the uh, knowledge era. So it's very much important for us to shift our focus uh, from um, uh, commodities and to start thinking in developing this uh, continent based on, uh, on knowledge. Uh, our particular interest in attending this uh, event is exactly because we deal with uh, intellectual property, which uh, is a tool that indeed tries to capitalize, to harness uh, from our knowledge, from our natural resource, from our genetic resource, uh, from our culture. So we believe that this is one of the areas that we have to focus in in, in the future, developing capacity to innovate the continent, develop the capacity the capacity to harness more on the creative capacity of this continent, developing uh, also capacity on how do we harness from our natural resources, but using them in a smart way, so that uh, when we use this uh, uh, resource, we add value on, on those resources. We've been discussing with the SPF that it's important indeed to uh, develop those, those capacities in order to make this continent more innovative to make this continent more creative, uh, to make this continent to uh, uh, benefit from its own, own, own resources. Uh, the, during this event, it was very interesting to see um, how in different parts of, of this continent, uh, a number of initiatives were, were undertaken, uh, partly with uh, the support of ACDF. Uh, we believe that it is the way to go, but uh, I would like to see more coordination in terms of uh, the initiatives that uh, uh, have been undertaken. Because what happens is that indeed, in some cases you would see brilliant ideas uh, coming up, brilliant uh, ideas being uh, implemented, while in some other part of the Africa or of the continent, uh, uh, another institution is struggling on, 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 the, on the same area. So I think that if we uh, continue um, these synergies, we put our effort together, that will be possible to share uh, the capacity that was developed in some part of the continent that are doing well and then transfer them uh, to other uh, areas of the continent. We are talking about South-South co cooperation. It's very important that in this continent we also have connection. It's not only the discussion about uh, the lack of intra-African trade, but it's also the dissemination of knowledge in our continent that sometimes is not happening. So we believe, I believe that if there is more coordination uh, in these areas that will, will, would help a lot. We saw also the capacity that the ASBF have in terms of mobilizing resources. There are a number of institutions that are doing a very good job in terms of research, in terms of education training, but they lack funds. Uh, we believe that with the capacity that ASBF uh, have to mobilize resources could assist also those countries. Maybe we need also to learn from ASBF how do we mobilize resources. It's important for uh, the, the, the institutions of this continent that are, 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 de are developing capacity to learn how do they do fundraising, how do they mobilize resources so that they will be able to be sustainable in whatever ideas they have. I believe this is the way to go and uh, uh, I wish uh, well to this uh, organization. I hope it will uh, continue working uh, in this direction so that indeed uh, it will help our continent to prepare itself for uh, the Agenda 2063 that the African Union has established. Uh, there are a number of areas there uh, that you can see that it needs a lot of capacity. So we don't have much time because indeed 2063 is not, uh, is not uh, uh, too far. So it's important that we start immediately to harness our resources and be able to prepare ourselves to implement the Agenda 2063 of the African Union so that it can be sustainable and uh, successful. Thank you. Thank you very much.